What's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we are uh, finishing up some of the work on our A3 build. Uh, I've got everything I need to put together my VTEC killer cylinder head on the table here. Um, so just so you know, this is our original intake rockers. And these are for the IVTEC. We're replacing them with these. These are from the uh, A3 intake side, or I'm sorry, exhaust side of the A3 motor. Um, and then these are the original exhaust rockers out of the uh, out of the old style A3 motors. These are not super common, but they are in some of them. If you do end up with a set of these in your motor, uh, what you need to do to make these work is you need to grind down these areas right here. And that way they clear the non-VTEC lobes of the new A2 camshafts and on these rockers <clears throat> you're also going to need to clearance them just a tiny bit right here and here uh, that way because the lobe on the actual camshaft is wider than the roller and it hits the inside of this rocker right here um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish clearancing these and then uh, I'll show you how easy it is to put the uh, actual rocker assembly together and we'll put it on the cylinder head. So, starting to put together this rocker assembly, just grab the uh, whichever side you want to start with. This is the cam sensor side. And then, we got our intake shaft, exhaust shaft. Start by slipping this on. Um, I will say if you do get a full set of eight of these, um, these do not have to be modified at all to be ran on the intake side, but uh, pretty much no matter what, unless you get, uh, I believe, K24Z1, or I'm sorry, K24Z3 rockers, they all have to be modified in some way to fit. So uh, I, before I put everything together, or, or took everything apart or I'm sorry before I made this video I put everything together and then checked what all was making contact and I probably suggest you guys do the same because there's a few different versions of these rockers a bunch of different styles you can use whatever you get your hands on just do some research make sure it's gonna work check your clearances beforehand but, uh, it's really easy just make sure you try and uh, when you do put everything back together, keep things in the same order they came off. Like if one of these rockers came off of cylinder two, keep it with cylinder two and so on. I like that. Like Legos, the rocker assembly is back together real easy. Uh, just try and keep these slots pointed this direction because they got to line up with these bolt holes. Otherwise, it's not going to be too fun putting this on the cylinder head. But this is ready to be put on there. So as you can see here, we've got our rocker assembly set inside our uh, cylinder head, both sides with the new uh, single lobe rockers on there that are clearance and everything. So now our next step is to uh, put a set of camshafts, or put the A2 camshafts in the head and get everything timed properly, which really shouldn't be too bad. And I'll uh, go ahead and get that done.
So setting uh, the timing on these K-series motors is pretty foolproof. On this side of the motor, there's holes right here where you can get a tool, a uh, tool from Honda, and uh, just put some pins in there, and it holds the cams in the correct position for your timing. And on this side, the timing chain has three teeth on it that are black, and they line up with these dots on your cam, uh, your cam gears, and then there's another dot down here on your crank. Um, you just line those up, and then put tension on it. As long as everything's lined up properly, your timing's well set, it's super foolproof, and that's all you gotta do. So, once you set your timing, and everything's torque down properly it's that's it you got yourself a VTEC killer cylinder head um, I hope you enjoyed the video today thank you for watching and as always have a great day